Today we have an exciting tutorial, something I've been working on for a while. I will show you how I made this realistic 3D car scene from scratch. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced artist, that does not matter. This will give you an idea how to make a photoreal CGI scene just like this. First step is to make sure you know how to use the software well. I used Cinema 4D and Octane for this project. But if you know how to use different software, the workflow relatively stays the same for every program. Let's start with gathering reference images. This will help us get the details right. Look for different angles of the car and your environment you want to place it in. It's always good beforehand to know which scene you want to create. In my case, I had access to the car, so that was a perfect opportunity to gather all the reference I needed. Now let's start modeling the car. The best way to start modeling correctly is to use accurate blueprints. Otherwise, the dimensions will not line up properly. I tried using photos and it didn't really work. So that's why I used the blueprints instead. You start with outlines of the main parts of the car. I use the spline tool for this. Put everything in a symmetry or a mirror modifier. That way, you only make one side of the car and then flip it. After we have our full outline, we can start creating our 3D mesh. Make sure you have clean topology. Otherwise, your surface will not be smooth. Separate the parts where needed to ensure that your mesh stays simple without too much vertices. My car model was definitely not perfect on this project, but it worked. I also placed a 3D human inside the interior of the car. You can barely see it in the final shot, but it's there. My interior of the car was really simple because I knew I will be shooting it for real inside of the car. So technically it's not a full CGI scene, but it was much easier to shoot it for real. I used the native car rig in Cinema 4D. After everything is lined up, we can parent the object to the rig. Now we have an interactive car rig, which we can use for the animation. I will not go into detail, otherwise this video will be way too long, but there is a possibility that I will create a course where I can show you everything from A to B, how I did it. Let's see how this video does. For the environment, we'll use an underground tunnel. You can model your own environment or go to 3D libraries. To make modeling easier, I use the reference image to model on top of it. Start with the half circle of the tunnel. Then add the curb and the road structure. Clone everything so it becomes a long tunnel. Then add speed signs, poles, lights, cables, everything, and clone these as well. Add a bent deformer to the group object so you can make turns in the tunnel. You can use your own textures or use the pre-made ones. For the car paint, I use the material layer system in Octane. Just like a real car, you have different coatings. You have your primer, you have your base color, and you have your clear coat. First, we have our base color, which we can add with a metallic layer. The color will be determined by the specular channel. Add a flake texture to create these small flakes, just like a real car paint. Turn the roughness up to create a more matte looking car. Next, we add our clear coat for some extra gloss and also some imperfections in the surface. We do this with the noise texture into the bump map. This will give you the illusion that the surface has some imperfections in the reflection. If you look at it at an angle, you will see it more clearly. You can add some dust, dirt and scratches as a finish. In my project, I just use some dirt on the surface. Then add textures to the diffusers, the logos, the lights, the glass, everything. For the brake lights, I used an emission texture. And for the headlights, I used an IES lighting system. This way it looks really realistic. After that, we added all the textures to the environment as well. Lighting was pretty simple because it was just the top lighting of the tunnel. With all the extra lights of the emergency exit, tunnel lights, it made the reflections really cool and realistic. If you want to make the scene dynamic, this is the step to do it. You can animate the car, the camera or both to create a dynamic shot. I animated the car using a 3D spline. Animate keyframes from point A to B. In the real world, they use a chasing car with a camera attached to it. In the 3D program, we just place the camera inside of the rig, then it matches the speed of the car. 
I added a vibrate tag to the camera, so it's moving a little bit in 3D space. This creates a more natural looking camera move. Experiment with different angles and ideas to create an amazing shot. I used the Octane AOVs to render out the different layers in an EXR file. For color, I used the ACES workflow. Now the final step is compositing the scene. I used After Effects to composite all the render layers in a nice looking image. This was then exported in the ACES log profile and graded in DaVinci Resolve. We can do some post-processing to enhance the final result. This includes color correction, adding effects, or any other things that you feel are necessary. The fun part was making the final edit with sound design. That really makes everything come to life. We just created our realistic looking car scene in CGI. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video. Peace.